Hello everyone, Sonny here and welcome back to another episode of Bug Rock of the Week slash tutorial, I guess. Today I'll be showing you how to get super speed horses in your Bedrock Edition worlds. These are basically horses that are way faster than they should be and this utilizes a bug in Bedrock Edition. Honestly, it's a really fun bug. I would highly recommend that you take advantage of it and at least try it out in your world while it's in the game because it is so fun to mess around with super speed horses. Oh, and make sure to stick around until the end of the video because I'm going to be showing you a kind of a broken horse that literally breaks the sound barrier. It is a supersonic horse that travels 400 meters a second and you're going to want to see it because it's just terribly hilarious. So this right here is a regular horse, it's just a random one from a spawn egg, and this will travel 100 blocks in about 8.5 seconds, meaning that it travels at about 11 blocks per second. Honestly, that's not like that slow for a horse, it's just like a random one. However, we're going to be getting horses that are three times faster than this. So this bug takes advantage of a little bit of an issue with the breeding of horses. If you give these guys an effect via splash potion, or a tipped arrow or commands or however you give it to them they will actually pass on that effect to their offspring now i've tested this with a bunch of different things and it appears that it only affects the speed which is honestly the most fun one so you can't get horses with more hearts using this little bug and you can't get horses that jump higher using this bug either it is purely for the speed effect so as you can see these guys currently have the speed effect from the potion we can also use tipped arrows as well which is way cheaper and then we simply need to breed them by clicking on them with some golden carrots. Now they're gonna pass on that additional bit of speed to the baby horse and we can speed up this growth using either hay bales or wheat or sugar. So once we tame this guy we'll be able to put a saddle on him and actually see the speed of the horse. So when you first do this you're not really going to notice a speed increase in the babies. You need to do this many many times over multiple generations and by time you get to generation like six then you'll really start to notice the speed increase so what we're going to do is we're going to breed up these two parents again until we have two babies and then that is going to be generation number one because of course these guys are generation zero just like wild horses just a little note here if you're going to be doing this much with horses and spending this much time breeding them up you know multiple generations you want to make sure that the baby horses you select are actually the best ones that you can get so for example this parent here has 11 hearts so if we get a baby with like 10 hearts you don't really want to keep that one you want to keep a horse with 11 or more hearts and that way as you progress down the line you will get eventually a horse with like you know 15 hearts or something so don't settle for less you can also save yourself a lot of headache by finding a wild horse that has a naturally high amount of hearts and that has naturally got a little bit of speed and jump to it the best way to get a good horse is just to go around and explore in the wilds and find a natural one that generates with good attributes such as high jump, speedy speeds, and many many hearts. So the better horse you start off with, the easier time going along the line you will have. Also when doing this process, make sure you're using speed 2 potions or tipped arrows because that does have an effect. Speed 1 will of course not give you as fast of horses as speed 2 will. So now that we've gotten two adequate babies from generation 0, we are on our first a proper generation of speed horses so once these guys are fully grown up and you know that they have an adequate amount of hearts we're going to give them the speed effect yet again using tipped arrows or potions and then we need to click on both of them with a couple of golden carrots to heal them from the arrows and then also get a little bit of a baby from them so this horse is then going to have even more speed than its parents and we essentially just need to keep on repeating this process over and over again for multiple generations generations so as you can already tell this horse is pretty speedy i don't know how fast it is until i do the video editing so pretend like i'm saying the correct number here Great, so now that we have our first second generation horse, you'll notice that it has 12 available hearts, so we've gotten an upgrade on that front as well. Now we're going to breed up these guys again and get our second second generation horse. It is worth mentioning that you can only breed horses once per minute. There's a one minute cooldown on the ability to breed them, so keep that in mind. 
So I think you kind of get the idea of how to do this. So let's go ahead and skip a couple of generations of horses and check out what generation six looks like. As you can see, this horse is noticeably faster than all the other horses in previous generations. And it doesn't even compare to the original horse that we started this entire process with. By the time you get to generation 11, you're going to be having a very, very fun time with your horses. And this this is around the point where they get kind of hard to control just because they are so fast. You're going to have a hard time maneuvering them in small areas and tight spaces and they're going to be pretty jumpy. So I'm not sure what the upper limit for natural breeding is. I've gone to 15 generations using this because it does take quite a while. I've spent a couple hours doing this even in creative mode. But if we take this guy to the range, we can see that it is about 30 blocks per second within 50 15 generations. Honestly, a pretty solid. If you're doing this in your world, I would highly recommend that you set up a 100 block stretch like this and then do some timings yourself. That way you can kind of see when this effect wears out, if it does wear out. Now, this is a very, very fast horse. It is going to be much faster than the standard ways of traversing your Minecraft world. It is certainly way faster than walking. And if you're doing this on a multiplayer server, people are basically just going to see like a blur flying past them all the time. It's going to be amazing. This is a little bit unrelated, but I kind of want to build a horse parkour course with these speed horses. I think that'd be pretty fun. So that is honestly the entire basic process. It is incredibly simple and very straightforward. And I've known about this bug for a really long time. I just like haven't made a video on it until now I, I don't know why I should have it's really fun you guys deserve to have fun things in your lives now there is the question of supersonic horses and the territory of using commands so of course we can give the parent horses a very very high speed effect using some commands simply by using like this command so this is going to give both of these parent horses speed 255 we can breed them up and then that baby will will have that speed plus the parent speed or something like that. Now, sometimes when they're in minecarts, they don't like to breed. And my solution to that is fishing rod them out of there. There we go. We got a baby horse. Now, this is going to be moving very, very fast. So there is the baby horse, if you can keep track of it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this horse can move at 400 meters per second due to the use of commands on the parents. So catching this horse or speeding up its growth in any way is going to be a little bit of a pain in the butt, but you can kind of do it if you try and get the horse into a boat or if it gets stuck in the corner, but basically, uh, good luck. <laughs> So this is our lovely supersonic horse. As you can see, I've named him Hax, and it is basically impossible to maneuver because even a small tap on the keyboard will just send you going about 30 or so blocks. So oftentimes I end up in that ocean over there, not really that convenient. And as you can see, it's basically impossible to do like fine motor movements, but we can do a speed test of this amazingly fast horse. And there we go. Did you, did you blink? Because you missed it. This is literally like, you, you probably blinked and then you missed it. <laughs> this horse goes faster backwards than like most other forms of transportation and it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Not only can this horse move fast, it can also jump incredibly far. So if we jump up into the air and then start moving as we're in the air, as you can see, it can basically clear like the entirety of this area, jump into the air and bam, we're all the way across this like 250 block long area. <laughs> It is honestly insane, and I thought you would appreciate knowing that this is a possibility in Bedrock Edition. Of course, it requires commands, so you're not really going to get this in survival mode unless you got cheats enabled, but it's still such a weird and silly thing that is technically possible. This horse doesn't have any effects or anything. Like, these are just its attributes, and it will always be the speed, no matter what, basically. So you heard that right, this effect is permanent and it will not wear off or go away or anything like that. This is just how fast your horses are. And yeah, I would not leave your horses like 
unleashed or like out in the open because then stuff like this will happen and uh, it's just it's just not good. So I'm fairly sure there's no hard limit to how fast you can get these horses. It's really just a matter of how many generations you do and after 15 generations it goes to 30 blocks per second and if you just keep on going you will get a faster and faster and faster horse meaning that after maybe a couple hundred generations you could find yourself with one of these hack horses that goes 400 blocks per second. I have no idea how long that would take or if it's even possible or if you could get a horse that goes even faster than this one but if you're someone that really likes horses and has a lot of time and dedication try it out let me know how fast of a horse you get in the comment section down below i'm gonna tell you right now do not get your horse in the ocean because you're basically gonna have an impossible time getting it out of the ocean and you're gonna have to get it into a boat and then you're gonna have to run that boat into a cactus and i hope that you get into the boat first because getting into a boat with a horse already in it basically impossible so just don't just don't go anywhere near water with these horses because it's just gonna be a bunch of pain so I decided that it's only appropriate to try out the super speed horse on a super flat world I currently have the render distance on 80 chunks that way we can really just fly and let's see how long it takes us to get to 1000 blocks out uh, this actually does not take any time at all Wow okay then so this is a very fast horse <laughs> the chunks aren't even barely loading fast enough for this oh this is amazing <laughs> yeah hack horses oh it's so good it's so good i love this this is beautiful we're, we're already seven thousand blocks out Jeez, this is going faster than the year of 2021 and that's saying something how's it nearly august can we just appreciate that bedrock edition loads of chunks fast enough for to even travel with the speed of horse so a rather short video today but a rather fun one as well again i would highly recommend that you try this out in your worlds it might take a couple of hours of horse breeding to do it however you will get yourself a pretty fun and overpowered horse and then you can keep on breeding that one and get a whole population of speed horses so I hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did then consider leaving a like as it really does help out the video and the channel a ton if you're new here then also maybe subscribe so that you don't miss future videos on the channel and otherwise I'll see you guys down in the comment section and in the next one and then there was silence